Welcome everybody, we're back with today's question. This one says, Vinny, congrats on teaching at HTL. Oh, yeah, HTL, that's HypnoThoughts Live. It's absolutely fantastic. It's, it's a great conference, you have to go to it. If you're at all interested in this conference, you're gonna meet amazing people there, you'll make friends, it's incredible. It, it, it's, it's a must go to, if that's a phrase. Anyway, back to the question. So, uh, I understand you're teaching how to sell on TikTok. Uh, isn't that just a kid's app? How is that gonna work? when kids don't have the money to pay for sessions oh okay okay so i kind of so you're asking about demographics this makes a lot of sense so yeah we could there's a bunch of uh stuff you could google about that but i really want to drive value with this question so um you know so for instance like one in four people are under the age of 20 on TikTok. the rest are over that age so that that's good to know right off the bat um but uh, there's something about the way you're thinking about social media that I think we can explore and it, it actually might help you start to get clients with that. So let's let's hop into it. The first thing to understand, Gary Vee actually said this. Uh, he said that all of these platforms age up, right? So they all start as kids apps. Same thing with Facebook, Instagram. There's, there's almost like a life cycle to them. And so ironically, the best time to get on it would have been when it's a kid's app. And then you would have had this library of massive content and you would have positioned yourself as the expert on that platform because they all have their own little ecosystem. So that's something to consider. And that kind of leads me to my second point here. Really that long-term vision, like it, it wouldn't matter if it were a kid's app today uh, uh, because, because you would have positioned yourself, you'd have millions of followers, it'd be incredible. But driving results to your business on social media what you do today rarely shows up today right we're talking about it's almost like you're making investments into a bank the roi comes later we're talking about a quarter two quarters later i've had people that have followed me for a couple of years before they signed up um so these are things to be mindful of because i think it's a little easy to to um get on a platform and post and you might not get the what we refer to as vanity metrics you might not get the the attention in terms of likes comments shares that you would that you would prefer but i mean i i have videos one comment that person becomes a student that's a thousand bucks in my pocket i don't care about right i don't like like what do you care about more right <laughs> so it's um the quality of your content and are you helping people um think differently about how they approach certain subjects, this is what matters. And, and so the stuff I'm gonna be teaching you at TikTok Live, it's oriented around that. It's like, how do we make, what, what are the types of content that are gonna drive sales, okay? Um, and it's, it's not, some of the stuff will be platform specific, but you can apply those same principles to other social media platforms. So for whatever reason, if you just happen to index better over index on like, Instagram, okay, it, it, short form content strategy, you can apply it there. Uh, Facebook, there's reels, there's reels everywhere right now, right? Instagram has their version of that, you can do them on uh, Meta. <laughs> so, so that's important to consider. Uh, the other thing here is that the same principles work in long form content, right? Because it's, it's about changing folks' perspective and creating value by doing it. Like, uh, so yeah, that's that's the type of stuff we're gonna be going through. Um, I, I hope that answers the question. So the big things I want you to take away is, I, I guess, you know, from a demographic perspective, no, it's not primarily a kid's app. Um, and look, I mean, I've, I've had, I've generated 170 leads in a day off of TikTok. So it's it's wild like that, you know? And, and, and I've, and here's the thing, I started getting clients when I only had like four to 600 followers, something like that. So you actually don't need a massive audience to start to start making money there. It's more about the consistency of showing up and, and learning what your market responds to and how you can help them take, you know, one small step closer to working with you and getting the transformation they really desire. So whole lot there i hope that helps out the the second thing i want to summarize all of these platforms kind of start off that way but they do age up eventually so paradoxically it's like getting on them in the early on okay that's where 
that's where the biggest long-term ROI is. The third point here is what sh what you do today shows up later. It's all long-term investments. And, and, and there's things you can do to like get clients immediately, but I, uh, I'm a little bit more into like building relationships, right? I want I want that to sort of be the foundation of my company forever. You know, show people you care and doors will open for you. So I hope that helps clarify what, kind of what we're going into. If you have more questions about this subject or about how I help people uh, as, a, as a practitioner and, and in my training, feel free to fire away, ask questions about that stuff. You know, my two day, I'm showing you how to help people when we're not using any conventional traditional hypnosis methods we're not using pre-talks techniques protocols modalities etc etc we're not doing any of that stuff we're literally just working in an organic way with the client in front of us and so there's certain advantages to that right because it's like you no longer have to rely on a structure we're just working with that client's unconscious mind in front of us it's a blast it's a really fun dynamic way to work um and it's easy and fast <laughs> it's easy once you get it Right. Um, that's what the training's for. So really, really cool stuff. I appreciate, I appreciate the question. Take care.